Hmm. Let me tell you. Do I think Sixes Lacrosse is actually good? No. Not really. Have I actually watched it? No. Not at all. That leads us to our first point here, you know, as we are getting very, very close to the NLL season, very, very close to lacrosse being played yet again and exciting us all from now until September. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one this year. Um, just keep in mind there are some things that we kind of need to address first, of course. Uh, the World Championship will be in July of 2025. I think it's the it might it might be the U20 Championships. I think it's probably the U20 Championships, more than likely. I think I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, there will be a World Lacrosse Championship in 2025. Um, also, the PLL is continuing their momentum. The momentum continues with the league as they have launched the Sixes style women's lacrosse league with you know four teams playing during the PLL championship series. And that kind of was what I was talking about as far as my first point is concerned. I have wanted a women's lacrosse league in the United States that's actually about teams, you know, not what Athletes Unlimited is doing. Uh, I stopped talking about Athletes Unlimited. You know, over the last couple of years and stuff like that, because it's just not intriguing enough to me with the whole player focused aspect. This isn't golf. This isn't tennis. You know, there are there, there are teams, there are friendships that there are storylines could form from those teams and players having these friendships and, and, and these business decisions and, and you know, or, or potentially becoming enemies. You know, it it. it it's so much more intriguing than just oh wow, a player won a championship. Just just a player, all by herself or all by himself. So yeah, that's basically the biggest news coming out from the PLL at this time. There are there have been some signings, you know, a little bit, you know, just some intriguing stuff going on as far as signings are concerned. But I haven't really looked at them in a while because again. A lot of signings, you know, have just you know been kind of eh. Um, college cross again, more schedules that are coming out, you know. So, should you start marking those calendars again? The season for college cross begins February first. It will be that first Saturday in February, and it's going to be a beautiful Saturday. I can't wait. But that's a couple months from now. We need to talk about the NLL first. So, yeah. Basically, the main, the, most of the rest of this is going to be NLL topics. You know, the, uh, first things first, NLL Plus, it's a free streaming service that the NLL has launched. Um, this mostly benefits people from around the rest of the world. This mostly benefits the Europeans. Um, not so much us here in America, not so much us, uh, our friends up to the north in Canada, you know as TSN and ESPN are the main partners still at this moment. You know, TSN adding Friday night weekly games to the schedule. ESPN slowly but surely trickling out, you know, what games they're going to cover as far as the NLL is concerned this season. And uh, confirmed so far there are three broadcasts on the ESPN platforms that are not ESPN+. Plus. You know, Um and this this service NLL Plus again, you know, it is great for the game. You know, we've seen stuff like the NWSL Plus. Again, I've talked about so- I just talked about soccer, you know, not not even a couple of, you know minutes ago or hours. It depends on when you're watching. Um, you know, we've got also you know stuff like you know the CFL Plus for Canadian football league. So again, you know. You know, even though I don't watch the CFL, it's a great service, you know, because all the games are on there for free. You know, you, you know that's kind of what you want. You know, IFL, NAL, AF1, you know, YouTube, it's been great. You know, PWHL, YouTube has been great. 
P PBF, Pro Volleyball Federation. YouTube has been great, you know, so stuff that's free that people can access is great. I love it. I love it. I really do. Um, more unboxed communities have been announced. There's like a handful of them. Like, I mean, these are mostly like trying to get, you know, again, we discussed this in the past, you know, what Unboxed is attempting to do is trying to get, you know, across into communities that don't really have it, you know, in the U.S. or, or Canada. And I'm just like, okay, that that's cool and all, but like, you know, Panther City Lacrosse Club is gone, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so more Unbox communities. Um, again, a lot of players, you know, are getting released and stuff like that. There's like one big, you know, thing that's really been, you know, the talking point for a lot of the offseason. That's Christian Del Bianco. You know, him and Calgary have just not been able to come to terms. CB's like, oh, well, maybe it's money, you know, you know, and stuff like that. You know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's been a, it's probably been the longest saga of something that's just not gonna, you know, come to fruition. But yeah, a lot of players are getting released and stuff like that. You know, as far as you know, getting us to 21 by, you know, Black Friday, 21 players, you know, as we try and whittle down these rosters a little bit. Uh, you know, when I look at it on the surface, I, I think, you know, I don't want to make supremely great, you know, predictions yet, you know, but I think, you know, a champion this year is gonna be intriguing to, uh, you know, you know, say that hey, you know, I think with this roster being conducted, and I think with this with the way things are, you know, uh, I, I don't, I don't know this year. You know, I want to say, you know, that Albany can replicate uh, the success you know, that they've had. And I want to say that Toronto can finally get over the hump and stuff like that. But right now, I feel like with the way, you know, things been going, with the way, you know, the Great Dane and, and Byrne and other guys been playing, I just feel like we're getting another Buffalo championship. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I want to I wanna say something different, but right now, you know, I, I just – I don't know if I could trust the team, you know, because I had high hopes for Saskatchewan last year. You know how that turned out. Uh, San Diego got bounced in the first round. Toronto, again, could not get past Buffalo. Albany was too young, you know, and I still think I still think the Firewolves are a little bit too young, but I do think they will make some noise this season. You know, a very young team. I'm not sure about, you know, other teams like Philadelphia. San Diego's gotten older, you know. Like, again, I, I would say maybe watch out for Ottawa. That might be the team I, you know, kind of just kind of mini cheer for this year because of my favorite player in lacrosse right now, Jeff T, who's just been on a tear you know, he was on a tear during the PLL season. He was he's on a tear. He's gonna be on another tear. I've been expecting another fifty goal season, you know, fifty goal, fifty assist season from him. You know, you know, a player of the year. A lot of goalies, you know, you know, and a lot of boating has been going on for you think he's gonna be the goalie of the year and stuff like that. But I think I think we're getting another Buffalo championship, just gonna be real with you. The way Buffalo has been, you know, the the that that city right there loves its lacrosse, and they, you know, have been way more appreciative of what they've been able to do, you know, over the past couple of years than anything else. And, you know, the loss of Panther City really hurts, you know, but right now I'm not sure what we're going to get in the future. I'm not sure what we're going to get in the future. Um, Georgia, I could, I could see something happening with them, I think. I think they could make the playoffs too this year, but again, for, for me, I, I think you know the Buffalo will be the NLL champion yet again this year. So that would be a three peat for them, you know. Um, 
Now, there is one more thing of intrigue, and that is the CBA, you know, an owner leaked out, you know, that, hey, we may not have NLL lacrosse for a while, you know, because the CBA is coming up to it, the Players Association and the NLL owners, you know, are potentially coming to a head yet again. And there have been some, you know, things in the past where, you know, I think it was like 2018 or 2019, you know, where the NLL had to postpone a couple weeks of its season due to the CBA and the Players Association. You know, get to a little bit of spat, you know, with the owners. And if there is, you know, you know, if there is issues of where we don't have lacrosse in the winter, you know, maybe next year or the year after that, that would be terrible. That would honestly be terrible if that were the case, you know. I, you know but it's just a, it's just a rumor at this point. It's not really officially confirmed by anything, you know. You know, the email itself is not going to say anything. You know that Twitter, you know that Twitter page doesn't really update like that. So I'm not sure how that all that's going to go. I'm hoping all the negotiations because again, the CBA expires, stuff like that. You know, at some point, I forgot when, but at some point it does expire. Um, I have to look that up because I don't remember when. I keep up with way too many sports, man. I, I really do. Um, so, yeah, PLL, watching the WLL should be fun. I'm going to going to try this time and watch six this lacrosse i'm gonna try i hope all the games you know are on a reasonable platform and not just stuck on espn plus just because um in ll season it'll be one hell of a season yet again i can't wait um you know again a lot of guys you know that just are, are like wow you got released are, are very surprising you know like dan taylor you know or you know uh you know, and of course, you know, some guys from Panther City have got, you know, you know, they're basically on the Philadelphia Wings now, like Kyle Crawford. He's a he's a Wings player now. Uh, so a lot of things are coming to a head. So we're going to find out what they are as the season goes on. Remember, the season starts on Black Friday, goes all the way until April the 20th, and then we'll have the playoffs right after that, which will go through Memorial Day weekend.